Hi everyone, let's look at another question on electric potential and electric field. The graph in the figure shows the variation of electric potential as a function of distance r. For which range of r is the magnitude of the electric field in the direction of r the largest? So they want to know where along the direction of r electric field is the largest. If you guys remember from the exact prep session, we said that electric field is the derivative. Actually, it is the negative derivative of electric potential with respect to R. If you had an X, it would be with respect to X. If you had Y, it would be respect to Y. So here, because I have electric potential as a function of R, the electric field would be the negative of the derivative of electric potential with respect to R. Now, the derivative can be translated to a slope of the VR graph, yes? And from Calculus 1000, we've learned that the derivative is actually the slope of the graph. So I can say the slope of VR graph is the electric field. Actually, it's the negative slope of the VR graph because of this minus sign. So I want everybody to be very careful, yeah? So it's the it's the negative slope, negative slope of the VR graph. So now, I have basically three range, three ranges in here. I have, I have, I can go from zero to almost three, and then I can go from three to four, then I can go from uh, four to almost like six or seven in here. So I can break my VR graph into three parts. And I look at the magnetic electric field. I can look at the electric field for each part. So if I compare, what you could do, you can compare the electric field. You can compare the slope uh, of all these three parts. If I look at the slope of the first part, the slope, uh, which is basically the electric field in this case, would be rise over run. So I can say rise is 4, run is 3. But it is going to be minus 4 over 3 because it is the negative slope. That's called E1. E2 would be the slope of the second part, which is actually a very, very sharp part. So if I look at the height, the rise, that is something like 8, and the run is almost 1. But the negative of that but because it is already negative, because it's a falling graph, so your electric field is actually 8. Yeah? So again, it's the falling graph. It gives you a negative slope. But since you have a negative sign in your equation, you end up getting 8. Volt per meters. That would be the unit of the electric field for each part. E3, however, is going to be 0 because it's the flat line. I mean, V versus R is a flat line. The slope of a flat line is going to be zero. They are asking for the magnitude of the electric field. If I look at the magnitude of the electric field, definitely E2 would be the largest. So I can say from R equals three to four, yeah, the graph is the steepest. Therefore, the slope is the largest. Therefore, the slope is the electric field, and that would be the largest value. 